shut it down when I'm pulling up. Come around when I'm pulling up. In my town and I'm pulling up. Ready for anything, anyone. Know that I get it done. In the bands, I be pulling up. Tell your friends, cause I'm pulling up. Ready or not, I be pulling up. Remember, they said I'm not good enough. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of the Phoenix Suns franchise here on NBA Live 19. And today, we are starting a brand new season after our NBA championship win against the Boston Celtics. And we are going to see how the first half of the season goes. We're 36-19, and third in the Pacific, just behind the Kings and the Warriors, who of course, the Kings, they've got KD... And Marvin Bagley. The Warriors, of course, got Chris Stapp's Porzingis all of a sudden, along with Stephen Curry and Draymond Green. Those guys are all all-stars. So it's hard for us to really compete. We had no all-stars. Even though Kawhi Leonard's having a great season, so is DeAndre Ayton. He's having a really good season as well. Devin Booker, a little bit of a down year. Kemba Walker's helping us out for sure, and Casey McCoon's doing what he can as the fifth starting guy for us, the fifth option. So let's move on to the end of the year and see what happens, and Kawhi Leonard, of course, leading us in points per game with 27.3. I would say he had a heck of a year. Uh, DeAndre Ayton averaged a double-double, so I'll take that. Casey McCoon, you can see he averaged 9-9. Nine and nine along with his uh, points per game, so nearly a triple-double average. Of course, we don't get Coach of the Year. Uh, Jokic gets MVP, so none of our guys in consideration. Most Improved, Defensive Player of the Year, and Rookie of the Year. Of course, we have nobody in there, nor do we have a Sixth Man of the Year. So we'll just move and see what the playoffs are looking like. Well, not yet. Let's go ahead and upgrade Casey McCoon, who is the future star of this franchise, as he's already an 85 overall, and as we continue to use these points, we can see that he will be an 87 overall, and I am hyped to see what he can do as an 87 overall, playing in this playoffs. I can't wait to see. He's finally not on the bench. And we're going to be taking on the Houston Rockets as we are the three seed. Obviously, Kings and Warriors, the only two teams in front of us. So we'll see what we can do here in these playoffs. We'll go ahead and show you guys how it started here against the Houston Rockets, who are sporting a 93, 88, and 88 out there, but we've got a 92, 87, 87, 87, and 89. We have got a monster starting five. There's no way they should keep up with us, even though they're a decent team, and we know Harden can put points up there. But we go ahead and blow them out in game number one. Harden with 34, Paul with 32. But if you look, Aiton with 33, Booker 25, Kawhi 25. But quietly, Casey McCoon with 19, 12, and 11. A triple-double for Casey McCoon. Let's go ahead and check out game number two and see how that one goes. And we are ahead here. Rockets will take a quick lead, then we take it back, and we're never going to let it go. Game over, we win that one. Capella leads them with 21. Paul had 20, Harden had 20. So, all three of their big guys with 20 points in that one. Kawhi Leonard had 31. Look at McCoon. 27, 13, and 10. Second straight double-double. Triple-double, my bad. Second straight triple-double in these playoffs for Casey McCoon, the rising star. We go into the third game of this set, and we've got a nice early lead. In the third quarter, the Rockets take it back, and they are holding it deep into the fourth quarter. So we're going to take over and play some of this for you, show you some gameplay, and... We are going to have Bridges with the ball down four points. Bridges is going to pass this one out to McCoon. He could have spot up and shot that one, but he didn't. So Bridges coming in, throwing one up, and getting it to go, cutting the lead in half to two points. Now the lead is four once again. He will miss the free throw right there, and we are going to take it. McCoon coming down, 
Going to spot up and shoot, and he will cut the lead in half down to two points once again. Now the lead is six for Houston. Chance to make it 12, and CP3 going to miss. But back the other way, Kemba Walker going to nail the three-pointer, cut the lead in half, back down to three. Now the lead is one, and there's an interception by Booker. Passed all over the court, Kemba Walker ends up with it and brings it inside for the two and the lead. We are up one inside of a minute to play. CP3 driving in, very nice take, but does not get the bucket to go. Booker is going to have this one. And Booker's going to throw this one out to McCoon. McCoon double teamed, and Booker going to take the three, and he gets it to go. We are now up four points. 20-some seconds to go, and CP3 going to miss. We're going to pass this one out. McCoon is coming down, and he slams it in for the six-point lead, and we end up winning the game by nine. We take a 3-0 series lead on these Houston Rockets. And James Harden had 40 in that game with 11 boards and 8 assists. Hell of a game for him. Looking at our team, DeAndre Ayton had 32, or, or 30, what? Kawhi Leonard had 31 points, but McCoon led us with 32 and another triple-double, his third straight in these playoffs. Now we move into game number four. Can we close it out? It's been a while since we did a full series here in an episode but we'll see if we can do it here today as we do close it out so the series is over Harden with 23 Paul with 22 what happened with our Phoenix Suns 25 for DeAndre Ayton but there he is Casey McCoon every game was a triple double let me know what you think of that in the comments section below as we're taking on the Utah Jazz next. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to drop a like on your way out. Subscribe if you're new. Plenty more coming your way. Thank you very much.